I will sound the gong three times here. I know those participants on Zoom cannot hear. Uh, they cut out the external noises. So, But we have the sound of the rain here in Cambridge, and we can begin with that. As you hear the second sound and the third, you may gently close your eyes and focus on your body's position upwardly and downwardly from the center of your heart. Position of your hands, Maybe your thumbs gently touching each other or each hand placed on your knees. <clears throat> Depending on how you are seated. And with your eyes closed, notice all those muscles closing your eyes. Begin to relax them. And that means we are not looking or zooming into anything. Since your eyes are closed, you will notice the pitch darkness that you can be aware of. And in visuals, you begin to ignore these mind-made creations. <clears throat> Notice your upper back, mid back, and lower back. Keeping them straight. So your neck can rest on your spine. Now with a deep breath, breath in, you take your shoulders all the way up and then drop your shoulders as you breathe out. Can you do that again? Shoulders all the way up with your in breath, and then they go down with the out breath. <clears throat> now, see if you still need to adjust your posture. Like I did, I just did. Sometimes arriving at the right posture and arriving at the cushion. This is like 50% of meditation. Now focus on your awareness and allow the rhythm of your uh, breathing, upper body's movements be revealed to your awareness. With this awareness, you may also notice if you are in Cambridge, all the raindrops falling <clears throat> and how the mind runs into rain-related memories that you hold in your mind. What came to my mind is the Dubai's cloud ceiling and the rain there.
And that is how the mind wanders. With this meditation, we train our mind to be disciplined, to be changed to this one thing that is your in breath and the out breath that is happening now. Memories also are happening now, but they are, we are not letting them carry us away into proliferations. <clears throat> the focal four point of your breath could be the inner nostrils where you feel your in breath and the out breath. Effortlessly, you stay present with this awareness. <clears throat> Using brain as a practice, recognizing, accepting, ignoring, non-identifying. Mindfully you breathe in, mindfully you breathe out. You begin to rest in your awareness, allowing things to be, taking the controller away. <clears throat> mm. Noticing also the slowness of everything. Without you, you doing much, body comes to a resting position.
Every time your mind wanders away, you gently invite it back to staying present with this precious, delightful moment of experiencing just breath. Allowing your awareness to discover, rediscover the rhythm of your breath, the body's patterns, the rhythm of your breath. However subtle your breath becomes, you stay present and focused. Noticing tranquility arising, euphoric joy arising. If it does not arise, preparing the ground for such experiences to arise.
feel the tranquility <clears throat> in your shoulders, neck, chest, at the back of your body, everywhere. And gradually come back to your home, to your body, with the intention of coming out of this meditation to gently feel the body again and pay attention to the sounds and visuals as they become available to you and you may open your eyes. Today I wanted to bring to this short discussion something I learned from my English teacher. I think I was at grade eight. Uh, she was my favorite teacher and I was in Sri Lanka learning English. I never spoke in English uh, at that time. Um, my teacher, Mala teacher, <clears throat> I'm still in touch with her. Uh, she came to the, to the classroom and uh, took the chalk and wrote in a big in that big big blackboard uh, these letters <clears throat> never trouble till trouble troubles you uh, and then he she explained um, the meaning of it because we did not understand how to make sense of these words at the time um, I remember her handwriting still, never trouble till trouble troubles you. Um, have you heard of this in in your life? <laughs> you may have. No, um, but maybe something similar. But the message, but without those specific words. I can't hear you for some reasons. Hello? Hello? Uh, uh, let me see. Hello? Um, let me see. Uh, can you speak now? Hello? Yeah, you can hear. You, I can hear. I can hear you now. Ah. Thank you. No, I said that I hear, I maybe, I never hear that specific message, but with those words, but maybe the message in a different way. <laughs> okay, yeah, so let's yeah. explore a, a little but bit. But it's, it's nice to, that uh, those words, um, that message was sent to you when you were so young. <laughs> Eighth grade. Oh, how, how old were you in eighth grade? I, I think I was my, in my, I was then, 14. Uh, 14, 14, 14. Yeah, yes, yes. yeah. Yeah. So this is a kind of, um, this comes in, uh, in in a dictionary of idioms and it's it's very 
meaningfully explained here that if you think something might cause trouble, leave it alone and wait until it actually causes trouble. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a statement of patience in a way. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, um, it's very... Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's also ascribed to Bruce Lee as a as a quote that he said, but many quotes are ascribed to him. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Some people translate it differently, saying, "Don't trouble trouble until trouble troubles you." <laughs> uh, yeah. Sometimes we create a problem that did not exist by troubling the trouble, and I think this is giving us patience and uh, giving us some preparing time, time to prepare, um, instead of causing or uh, poking something or tapping into something that creates uh, unnecessary trouble in our lives. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, maybe because you are, you, you are, you have fears of trouble and then you make yeah. The trouble. <laughs> yeah. You are, yeah, the fear creates trouble. That's right. The anxiety and fear create trouble. Uh, th that something can go wrong, and then you start words, and you just you have created a new trouble by worrying about something. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, the message I think is to not make things worse by um, creating new troubles. Um, so it's yeah. best to be patient and keep your calm and uh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Ease your mind. And... Yes, yeah, ease your mind. That's right. Because <laughs> some people yeah. go looking for troubles. and <laughs> Yeah, that's another kind of... <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of deep kind of people and get, yeah, get in trouble because, yeah, like you say, we need to be patient. Be patient. Some people go looking for trouble and problems, and they have a problem for every solution, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> Someone brings the solution, and then they create another new problem based on the solution. So, I mean, it's good to prepare for something. It's good to overthink every detail. It's like a space mission. They have to... Um, they have to measure everything that can go wrong and have a solution for it. But in life, it doesn't have to be that meticulous. <laughs> we mm -hmm. have to wait until tr the trouble comes to us and that way we have the resilience and the time to respond to it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you need to be patient and, and, and act and act in a special moment, not when you make decisions when you are in a good state of mind, right? Yes, yes. You know, doesn't uh, rush to make decisions. <laughs> doesn't rush to make decisions. You know, sometimes the trouble means we get agitated, roused, or, you know, we tend to charge at someone and uh, get too excited and then lose, lose the battle. <laughs> so this is... Uh, this is the thing. Uh, we accidentally sometimes create new problems that didn't even exist. And by doing so, um, now we are having to fix this other issue while also dealing with what is in front of us. So uh, for maybe people dealing with military, it's important to also assess what is ahead of them instead of... Um, throwing their soldier, soldiers into the battlefield and creating a new problem. Yeah, yeah, like currently happen in the world, right? That Yeah, it does, right. Some leaders <laughs> react without, yeah, without getting, they get in more trouble because they don't have a good plan. Yeah. They rush and create problem and problem, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember this one incident. Uh, this is not related to war, but um, I was in Detroit and uh, there was some tension in my mind and I got into the car and I I just 
um, reversed it, not realizing that the gate, the roller gate was not open. I forgot to <laughs> open it. So the result is I created a new problem by bumping into, reversing into the gate. <laughs> so mm. I had to get the help of um, the other monks and fix the gate before I went into um, find a solution for the other trouble. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, <clears throat> um, that impatience that I noticed in me was unnecessary. The rushing to rushing, rushing and uh, wanting to find a solution, but then creating a new problem. So I, 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 I can see that that can happen to me. It can happen to anyone um, with, with a bit of patience, a bit of um, resistance, um, wanting to be the moment and uh, seizing the opportunity to find peace right there instead of running around to look for peace. We can save a lot of time and trouble, <clears throat> I believe. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's when I want to go to work and don't get late, don't be late, but I go so fast that I'm, yeah. I may get in trouble. <laughs> in That's right. Car accident and so. Uh, oh my it's goodness. better to yeah. get late and late and late until somebody tell me you are so, you need to fix the problem but <laughs> so because yeah we get accustomed to to many bad uh habits and yeah the, the many things are, are like um like um i, I don't know the word yeah english is my second language also so no, i get no, stuck it's... Yeah, I yeah. That's like he's still looking no, for we, the right we, word. That's no, it's, it's it can happen to all of us. Um, yeah, to that's... develop, yeah, develop more discipline, mm. take time. Yeah, like, yeah. like I want to meditate more, have the discipline to meditate, it takes a long time, uh, to the body get used to, right? I don't know. In my case, yeah. I like meditation, but why I sometimes not get that. Yeah, um, discipline. It takes time. Mm. Right, meditation um, is also a way to find solutions for most of the troubles that we are facing in life. So uh, the kind of patience that it requires, you know, it takes a lot of time. And I said, like I said in the beginning, fifty percent of meditation is coming to the cushion. So that is patience and discipline, wanting to develop a practice. And I also realized uh, lately, since I have had a consistent practice in the morning, midday, and in the evening, I try to sit 45 minutes each sit sitting. It gives me great, tremendous um, uh, perspective, tremendous uh, amount of peace. And uh, I kind of start liking the kind of life it gives me through practice like that. In the beginning, it used to be boring, but I, I now look forward to it. And it took yeah. so, so long for that to happen, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good pitch. Yeah, I really like when you share 50%. And I say, oh, 50% is... Uh... Coming to the cushion. <laughs> yeah, because I'm 53 years old, so sometimes <laughs> I have back pain and everything. But um, yeah, that's a great advice. Actually, I, I'm taking a mindful course in Leslie University, and uh, and I have to write a paper about wrapping up all the course, mm -hmm. and it involves a lot of creating this um, uh, discipline. Mm -hmm. And that quote me was one of that I'm going to integrate because, wow, well, oh, yes. that's right. Ah. The, the thing is, our mind, um, we, I think there's this story that I like to share. Um, English monks were living in northeastern Thailand and their teacher told them to move a huge pile of soil from one place to another. And their teacher went away. 
uh, on a journey somewhere for a couple of days. And these monks, uh, they were living in humid forest environment, eating one meal a day and uh, wanting to practice meditation. But they had a less opportunity to practice, but they did more hard labor work. And at the end of their moving of all that soil from this place to the other place, their second abbot noticed that the soil was not supposed to be in that second place. And then the second abbot told them, move it Fuck. to this another place. And this, <clears throat> these monks accepted it as a challenge and did it. And now they have finished that work three days later and the first teacher returned to the monastery and said, that's the wrong place for the soil. So it's another three days of work coming and this frustrated the monks and they started cursing in English. But the Thai monks understood that anger that was coming out without having to uh, understand the language. And this one of the monks said, Pushing the wheelbarrow is easy, but thinking about it is harder. Ah, this gave a relief to, to those English monks. Sometimes the mind created tension, mind created more trouble than the actual work ahead of them. They could just push that wheelbarrow. Like for you, you could just write that paper if you were creating new problems in your mind, thinking about it, thinking about writing or uh, if you have to give a presentation, you think, 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 not do it, not prepare for it, then the mind has created new problems. Mind has, cre by preparing, by just taking everything as meditation, writing or pushing the wheelbarrow or doing anything as meditation, the troubles naturally disappear and solutions naturally arise. Isn't that beautiful to yeah find that yeah. relief in us sometimes it's our own mind that creates new problems <laughs> yeah right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah thank you. so i trust that uh, you get to write your paper and not create anything worse by thinking about it but yeah just, just let it know. go and yeah meditate <laughs> when the, when the, the, yeah because yeah. I have I have gone to school and I have done this, but you know I had to write many papers and sometimes we wait until last minute. But I learned that you can always edit a bad page, but you cannot edit a blank page. Mm. You know, bad page, you can always know that you did something and you can edit it. But if the paper is quite blank, blank, you can yeah. you cannot do anything about it. That's why to cre not create new stress, you can just start doing the work and put things together and then the momentum carries you to the end of it. <laughs> yeah. So you don't even have to disturb the thought of writing anything or cause yeah. new troubles. You know, you might have to get get things started. That's all. Other you know, other problems that you thought will exist will not even appear in the course of your writing it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. 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 Yeah, it happens. Can I share something? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I, I, 53 years old and I focus my first years of life trying to study and raising my children. But I, when I moved to the United States, I, I have to stop studying because, well, I need to focus in, in learning the language. And uh, when... I had a chance to come back to study. I was 40 something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is too late. And mm. United States too expensive to study. Yeah. So I, I was stuck thinking, and my husband said, no, don't get in, don't study because here it's too expensive. So finally, I ended finishing my associate. And, and I said, okay, I, I don't know, gonna get more in depth. And one friend, came with that opportunity and she said yeah Veronica keep keep studying keep studying and when I I I, I stopped I, I finally because she encouraged me so much I started it's studying and my many open many doors open to me nice. and I ended yeah like I say oh if I were worry about, about paying and worry about this yeah. I'm not gonna I never 
find this wo- the outdoors and mm-hmm. suddenly many things that I studied before helped me to advance and I yeah, get cool. credits yeah. because I was bilingual I, I can nine credits because I speak Spanish and then uh, 23 credits because I before I, I, I did a yoga training and now I have to credit to in since uh, last year in, in September that I started the bachelor right now I have I'm, I'm gonna graduate uh, in, in July so less than a year I'm, I'm gonna so graduate. happy I'm clapping <laughs> <Yeah>. here <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's like less than a year I now graduated from the bachelor that I never thought that could be possible because beautiful beautiful yeah. I, I, if you listen I, to I, the voice of your mind telling you no, you can't do it, then you will be not never get this far. Yeah. Sometimes you exactly. Sometimes you, yeah. That's is that what you say? Don't worry. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Think of trouble because you get create more trouble. <laughs> yeah, it's like you have to jump to the pool sometimes. Yeah. Like, yeah, and navigate. And, and it was like I never gonna do a step us mm-hmm. um, full time semester because it's too mm-hmm. complicated. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. now I did two full time semesters. Yeah. Great. Great. <laughs> and now I want. To, thank you. And now I want to. Yeah. Yeah. I. 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 Now I don't have that fear that I cannot study because I was old. No, I, no, my English true. is not my first language no. because United States is so expensive. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I love. I now I don't have that fear. Of course, wonderful. I'm so glad you stepped into it and that you are thriving in it. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, right. and now and now yeah because I I I lost that fear. Now I meet the peace house and I'm so happy. Great. To be here. I hope some more people join. <laughs> That's true. Some people sign up and um, they don't, I think the, the time doesn't work for some people. We have a silent retreat today that is starting at one o'clock. And uh, we have about 20 people coming for that. So that's great. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I hope I can create more discipline and... Uh... <laughs> And one day showing you in of the course. silent retreat. No, no. When when you have the time, please make it. You're very welcome here. Um, you have the discipline, but you have a lot happening right now. When you have finished, maybe you have more time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, sure, you're welcome. And let's share merits. May the suffering ones be suffering free and the fear struck fearless be. May the grieving shed all grief and may all beings find relief. May all beings share this merit that we have thus acquired for the acquisition of all kinds of happiness. May beings inhabiting space and earth, devas and nagas of mighty power share this merit of ours may they long protect the buddha's dispensation sadhu 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 have a wonderful day you too thank you thank you